While the middle of the Cubs infield should have a familiar look, there will be two new faces at the corner spots this season. I've been dreaming about this for a long time. I've been, you know, anticipating something like this to happen for me. And uh, so, you know, the time's here. It's, it's time to go, you know. Brian LaHare hit 38 homers last season at Iowa while driving in a major league high 109 runs. And with Carlos Pena gone, he's the Cubs' top choice to take over. As for the talk that prospect Anthony Rizzo may be called up in a few months to replace him. You know, I think right now it's a, a concrete plan to just let Rizzo have another season in AAA and, and let him be comfortable instead of, uh, you know, moving him up and down and all that stuff. So it's, you know, it's Brian LaHare's job and, it, and it's not his to lose. It's, it's his job and, and uh, you know, the guys earn the right to have it. I think they just want me to be myself. Um, you know, they want me to work hard. They want me to hit balls hard. Um, you know, uh, you know, I produce runs, so I mean, as long as I'm doing, you know, what I'm capable of doing, I think everything falls into place. Replacing Aramis Ramirez at third is Ian Stewart, who came over from the Rockies in a trade that sent Tyler Colvin and DJ LeMayhew to Colorado. The Cubs are counting on a comeback season after a pair of injuries dropped his batting average from 256 to 156 last season. I feel healthy now. Uh, hit a lot this spring or this off season. Gotten with Rudy. Um, even here, I've been here for about a week working with him. So, you know, hopefully that all translates into a good spring training and into the season. You know, Stewie had a down year last year. I played with him a lot in Colorado. And, you know, he's obviously got more in the tank than that. And I think he's going to prove to people that he can still play. And, you know, hopefully those guys will do well and, you know, give them a blow here and there. And, uh, you know, we'll be pretty productive. Veteran Jeff Baker will again back up first, second, and third this season. And with Darwin Barney batting 276 as a rookie and Starlin Castro coming off an all star season in which he led the NL with 207 hits. The Cubs are hoping the sky's the limit this season. From Mesa, Carrie Sayers, Fox Chicago News.